Good morning guys, welcome to the backcountry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make coffee in the backcountry for ways. That's right, I have packed in four different ways to make coffee on this trip and I'm really excited to show you my personal favorite and then some other options that are a tad easier. All right, so the first method that we're gonna talk about is using the MSR Mugmate filter. This is about one ounce and it's about $17. This is what I've been using for a while now. And basically you pour the coffee grounds in here and then you put this inside your cup and brew the coffee and then pull it out and pour the grounds into your garbage. So this is the method I use. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Just put that into your cup and I packed in a ton of ground coffee. This is enough for both me and Nick for a few days. And so I just pour a little bit in there. The stronger you like your cup, the more you can pour in there. And then you pour the hot water right in there and it kind of settles down. You just keep pouring until the cup is full of water. And so then I'll let this brew for just a couple minutes. Again, like the darker you want your coffee, the more you can let the ground sit in there. And then once it's done, you just pull this out, drain all that water, and then pour the grounds into your trash. This is my favorite way to brew coffee in the backcountry right now. It's so good. That was really hot. But it's just a really rich cup of coffee, uh, similar to a French press. Second method we're gonna talk about is this GSI Java Drip. This is about 0.4 ounces and $10. For this one, it's really simple. This just kind of clips onto your cup. It's on there pretty good. And then you're just gonna add your fresh ground coffee here and pour the water top of this. And this is kind of where it gets a little dicey. And I'd say with this one, just be careful of your hand here holding the cup. You don't, obviously don't wanna pour hot water on your hand. And once it's all dripped out of there, same thing with the previous method, you are gonna have to pour this in the trash and pack the grounds out. There we go. Next up, we have these pocket pour overs. These are about 0.5 ounces and 250 a pack. So honestly, I think they're like a really cute idea, but they're definitely kind of expensive. If you backpack a lot and you're out for a lot of days, 250 a pop is kind of a lot. And you do have quite a bit of trash with this that you need to pack out, but they are an interesting option if you don't want to pack in ground coffee or any of these other things. So this is a single use pack. Open it up. That there. And so yeah, it's like a little pour over here. It's pretty cool, little design. And then just pour your hot water on top of that. And then you'll have to pack all of this stuff out in the trash. So it is kind of a lot of trash and a little bit more expensive, I think, per pack than some of the other methods that we talked about. And the last option are, of course, instant freeze dried coffee. You just pour this into your cup. It's super easy. This is light and small and quick. And so if you just want a quick cup of coffee, if you're just after the caffeine, these are super light and really small. You just open that up, pour this in here. And then you just put this in the trash and this is the only trash. So that's definitely a pro for this method. Pour some hot water in here. And boom, coffee done. You might want to mix that up a little bit, but so easy. All right, there you go. That is how to make coffee in the backcountry four ways. I want to know before you go in the comments, what is your favorite way to make coffee in the backcountry? I love hearing from you guys. So make sure to subscribe, say hi, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.